Okay, some of my videos might be a little bit redundant here, but this well, let's take this uh, actual model and evaluate and, and put in some audit tests. So this is just going to be a review of some of the audit tests. And um, I think I had some ideas for kind of some different, a little more creative audit tests. Now, I suggest that you in this uh, column, we've got very few, uh, very few things. So I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to make this column a little wider. And somewhere up here, we can put audits. Okay, and then let's start with we can let's see how many of these columns we can uh, evaluate. So the first thing is, is just counting the, the numbers. Now if you put equal count if, I'm sure I've done this a lot with some of the others, and then you put a comma true, it'll count how many things we have. And this should be equal to the months of the development in the in the operating assumptions, okay, and then if we, he's got, we've got something called a pre-commercial, so we could do the same thing, count if, and I think a lot of the, the uh, comma true, a lot of, and then this one will be the, the development plus the uh, months of construction, okay? And then we can put the financial closure switch. I guess, how could we put this one? I, it's almost worthless putting this one, but let's just make sure that we have at least one thing assigned, so maybe we could put count if. That's not a very good one. Um, could almost do the same thing. We we should put, uh, uh, well, let's use, use a count if again. This one better be equal to one. Whoops. And then I need to come true. <laughs> Start of construction. We can do the same thing. Construction phase switch, count if. We better have the uh, this to be the same number of the um, construction months. Okay, and um, end of construction. If we want that, we can we can uh, take the same one here. Is this getting too boring? Uh, commercial operation date, the same one. Uh, COD minus one, maybe the same one. That's a trickier one. Post COD. I don't know why we really need that switch, but this. Uh oh. Post COD. Huh. See, we have a false here. And why do we have a false? Okay. Uh huh. And we. Oh, over here. Oh, this is just a post COD. This is. I'm not even going to pull one here. I don't know why I'd want this one. Operation phase switch, we could put count if and select all of these and, whoops, comma true. This time, since this is in six months periods, we'll have to put the uh, 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 PPA term times two. There we go. End of the PPA is the same one. And then, oops. Huh. Okay, maybe this, we never got to the end of the PPA. Okay, well, I'll let this one get by. I'm going to USD debt repayment would be uh, count if. This is really, uh, I'm, I'm kind 
kind of going overboard on this equals and then we can go to our financing worksheet and find how much the PPA term we 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 put it here for the term times two. Okay, enough of that. And uh, same thing with the <sighs> this one. And now what we'll do? Why don't we do this? We'll. Um, Is that tenor here? Come on. Oh, that's other debt terms. Times two. Okay, so we have our first ones. Let's make shift F11. Let's make an audit sheet. And you know what you'll do then is... Okay, we'll put it here. We'll just start with uh, all of these uh, things. Okay, so we'll make it as easy and be as lazy as we possibly can. And then let's see if we can come up and be a little more creative with some of our other tests. Okay, so we'll just put this to the uh, financing worksheet. Okay, and this, we didn't have one for this one, control minus, okay. Let me pause for a minute, think about the next one. Okay, I'm going to try to do this quickly. Once we are finished with the, the timing checks, the next section of the model, now maybe this is more important than all the checks itself, is I think having a section where you put the summary sources and uses of fund statement is so essential. Now you can check this summary statement against the aggregate funding needs. So we could put a, a, a little check that says, well, our, it, does our development cost equal uh, the development expenditure that we put in our, in our summary? Okay, and then does our capex equal the <sighs> capex in our summary sheet? Okay, and I have to uh, do some more of that. So I'll skip over that. We'll come back to here. And then when we get to the debt, does our debt equal the... Suppose what we could do is put the, the two debt facilities. We have a U.S. tranche plus the plus the uh, plus the Indonesian tranche. Does that all equal? Okay, and then does this equal the USD tranche? Okay. And blah, blah, blah. Okay, does this equal the Indonesian tranche? Okay, you can see that I am about to say something that's not true. You know, you can't do this on every sheet, on everything. Now, when we get to this development expenditure, we can see, well, does this one equal the, the amount we had in our operating model where we put some uh, development cost in? Okay and check the rest of these. And then when we get into this one, <laughs> what is it in this? I forgot what this stuff is. Uh, equity value, let's, let's go with project cost, let's, let's the grant. Okay, we can check that this one equals uh, the uh, total cost here minus the grant, okay. And we can go to the equity value and make sure that our, our total equity equals our targeted equity that we put in our, our sources and uses statement. Kind of just talking to myself and making these up as we go along. Uh-oh. Um, this equity commitment should be equal to the 
equity commitment down here and maybe I hope this is just a rounding thing well, this is 895 huh. this one should equal uh, okay so let's Let's do it like this. This minus this. And we have to put a round of that. Uh, comma zero equals zero. Uh, and then the uh, total funding needs. We can, you know, these, these maybe should be uh, moved we should put kind of our totals shift control 7 if you want to uh, put this in okay control R to, to get that so these uh, we have the total funding needs well this better equal the total funding needs that we we had up here okay and this one better equal the total equity plus the total grant whatever we had um, where do we put the grant okay I have to put it here oops I don't know what that is okay well whatever and now let's get into something more interesting now let's leave the sources and uses out I suppose we could put one more test here that's enough and then we have the debt tranche and let's see some some tests you have on the debt tranche well this this uh, this this sum of all the draws better equal to our fixed thing here okay and this because it it's a uh, we might have a little bit of uh, a little bit of difference so we'll put a round okay and how about comma three okay and then <sighs> I think we better make sure that the the balance of the debt the closing balance here it says check of balance we don't really need that anymore but this closing balance at the financial close better be equal to zero so we can use instead of a count if let's use a sum if and this time let's look uh, 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 I'm, did I say I meant uh, commercial operation date so we can find the uh, where's our commercial operation date that's 21 okay I hope this sum doesn't screw it up it might give us uh, kind of true when that's true then the uh, I think that 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 test will just screw it up shit um, we could uh, test the closing balance itself Do we get a, so we got a circular reference shit um, just a minute let me pause okay all we have to do is put it down one below and uh, that check okay and then what we'll have to do is a tedious thing where we where we get all this and then when we we put our uh, <laughs> what else could we check um, let me see it's 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 kind of nice to put all these things over here so we can check that our fees and everything else are okay did I not put this just a minute let me stop this I uh, should I put some uh, I haven't put some interest in but you know what we should really check is one of the important checks is to make sure our function is equal to our computed okay and again this is one where we'll have to put a round and put a minus and we'll put comma zero equals zero. So we're uh oh round L fifteen two seventeen. Let 
computed 615. Uh oh, I've got a difference. Ah, crap. Okay, I'm gonna go and fix it. And then, you know, let's just, uh, and this should be in this column. Okay, and when we finally finish it all up, we should put a, a sum if test on the, the, the ending balance. And the most important test of all is down here at the end where we check we have a difference between our assets and our liabilities. And we put a round and you put a comma zero. And you can make that equal to zero. And don't make it comma zero, make it comma three or something. Shift control R. Okay, and I think I've probably got a problem here, yep, because of that uh, thing, and when that balance sheet, and then put a and around this one. Okay, and we should have done the same thing. And then let's put this balance sheet test. Okay, and now when we, we um, go through, oh, I'm so pissed that, about the, the function not working just a minute and and when we go through all of this eventually i've kind of i've shown you this before but maybe it's a good time to review it you can put if this is true then just put nothing otherwise put this in and you can go down as many times as you like now what we're going to have is uh, okay let's just pretend this is true Okay, and then eventually we'll have a aggregate test, and we'll check that these are all trues. And then what we can do here is make go and make another function. This is half the reason I'm showing you this. I know I've showed you this before, but we on this function we'll put a add text because the stupid Excel doesn't have it. Maybe the new one does, but uh, we put for i equal one to series dot count. And you should be, you know, when you do this a few times, it's almost as fast as, uh, uh, actually it should be faster if you had a, then, and we'll put a and a series I. Okay, and then we can just quickly, uh, uh, if we, let's say this is false just for a minute. Okay, and this is false. And certainly our balance sheet test would be false. We could put add text and just shade them all and it tells you where we went wrong and we can put if the uh, aggregate test is false then we should use this otherwise we can put model okay all right. and i think we could put a even a conditional formatting around that but i'll do that just a little bit later Okay, that's, I'm going to stop with this one. This was too boring of a video. Okay.